As the eclipse approaches, a pair of Southeast Portland men have a warning about what can go wrong. Trevor Alt shares the story of these two friends and why they don't want you to do the same thing they did. We're living examples of what can happen. Like most best friends of 60 years, Lou Tomasowski and Roger Duvall share histories. This guy stands up in the Crayola and threw it at me. That but these best friends also share an ailment. It happened 55 years ago on the Marshall High baseball field. Right here. That afternoon was a partial solar right eclipse. So for about 20 seconds, they both turned their attention to the sun. We took it all in, not realizing that there were some hazards involved. The problem started shortly after when they both noticed blurred vision in one eye. In the course of reading, that eye would blank out part of the, the wordage. Well, like on TV, when they blur out the license plates, that's exactly what it is. It's after fighting that for about a month, doctors told both Lou and Roger they had permanently damaged their vision. He said, uh, you got permanent eye damage from that eclipse. And I said, well, what can you do? And he said, nothing. We call it solar retinopathy, and it's really very close to burning a hole in the retina. Dr. Russell Van Gelder is an ophthalmologist with the University of Washington, and he says if you don't wear protective glasses, what happened to Lou and Roger can quickly happen to you. It's so dangerous for people to look at the sun, even for brief periods of time, because you can cause permanent damage to the retina. This is especially true for your kids who might try to take off their eyewear during the eclipse. And that's why Lou and Roger want to help spread the word so that you or your family don't make the same mistake that they did 55 years ago. Enjoy what's going on. Just be careful because you don't want to go for the rest of your life with an eye problem. In Southeast Portland, Trevor Alt, Coin 6 News.